brake surface and the brakes off camera just to kind of speed stuff up. So, put this on here. flush looks legit you're supposed to tighten the clutch side to hold this nut in from the back so it doesn't jam in there sideways. Um, it's supposed to be six to eight foot pounds which seems reasonable for this bolt. Okay and that's torqued on there. Now it says to Spin the front wheel to position the forward rotation, apply brake while holding. So I gotta put the brake together, I guess. It says spin front wheel and forward rotation. Apply brake and while holding brake, torque the axle nut to 34 to 80 newton meters or 25 to 60 foot pound. That is a huge torque range. 25 to 60? Oh, okay. Well. 40, I guess, I don't know. Fork these. Like you might have to. Great design. Well, my torque wrench will fit in there. Oh no. That's a great design. I like it. That should be a 13, I would assume. It's Everything to 13 on this bike. Hey, it didn't break. Well, that's something, I guess. Now I should have enough room, I think, to get the something in there now, hopefully. I may mean, be able to get that in there, but. Oh, 
oh, even with that in there, there isn't enough room because that stupid thing, well, that's just a great design. I mean, I don't know how you would ever get a torque wrench in there. So that's just excellent. this off and bent this tab which will probably snap off now off for no reason other than I just needed to you know and now it seems like it's not lining up which is awesome I'll probably strip this magnesium strip this bolt out that'd be awesome I'm gonna undo it up here because I really, really don't want to strip this pod out. Okay, just fall off, that's fine. Probably gonna regret taking this off because I'll probably strip it. And then when I, once it's stripped, then I'm hosed stuff. I want this to go down into the brakes. It doesn't go all the way through, does it? If it did, I just sprayed WD-40 on my brake. I may have just sprayed WD-40 on my brakes, which would be awesome. Yes, I need to look. But, uh, yeah, it goes all the way through. That's great. I probably just sprayed WD-40 on my brakes. That'll make them work good. Um, hopefully, it didn't really sound like anything was coming out. Oh, uh, maybe. That's awesome. So, I don't know. I mean, technically, it's probably inside the brake shoe. I don't know. I'm just putting it together. If my brakes don't work at all, I'll take it back apart. I just don't understand anything about this bike at this point. Why anything is made the way it's made. And Why would you have a bolt that goes all the way through the brake hub? I, I don't understand. Why does this bolt need to be eight feet long? Why, why, why can't it just be the thickness of the brake hub? But that isn't the way they do it. Might as well put that in there too. Yeah, that was great. I just, I can't believe I used WD-40 and she basically sprayed it directly into my brakes. That's just the way it goes for me. Then I'm gonna be like, my brakes don't work at all. I wonder why. All right, that's tight enough because I can't seem to get it any tighter. Does your brake work at all anymore? Probably not. Since you sprayed WD-40 in it. And now everything is so well, it works for now, but more than likely WD-40 is going to get on the inside of the hub. And I guess I could take it back out, spray brake clean in it, I guess. Out smart. Mechanic of the year. I'd like to thank MMI. No, I didn't ever go there. And when you're doing anything with a bike that you've never worked on before, everything is an adventure because you've never worked on it. 
And it's so much easier once you know a bike. These little things that you learn about, you make so many more mistakes when you're working on the bike for the first time. So I'm just gonna pound this off again, probably break this tab off. This guy's a thinker. Yeah, not so much sometimes. Not so much. clean your brake shoes and your brake hub, and then spray WD-40 on it. So hopefully that's cleaning it out, I don't know. That's factory approved uh, brake cleaning port right there. Uh, it, it says right in the manual. Go ahead, if you want to clean your brakes, just go ahead and use this port. That's what that's for. Not really that much but oh, some stuff came out which is weird because I had literally just cleaned it all it's probably stuff that was on the back of this maybe that WD 40 didn't even go in there and then I just blasted it in there who knows at this point but I did what I did and you know that's what I did so My neighbor just walked by looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. You know, that's fine. Make your neighbors think you're a bit nuts. They give you more respect that way. They're gonna be quieter. They're not gonna walk in your lawn. Because uh, they're gonna be like, that guy. Just admit it. If, if you're a motocross rider, you kind of are a bit touched. We're all a bit touched. Uh, for sure, we are. That looks good. So we're torque, torqued, torque, 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 tightened. We're gonna call that good. Hopefully, the deal still spins. That one was terrible. It's an old wheel bearing, I feel like. Um, <laughs> oh. So that, that wheel I bought needs wheel bearings. So I'm gonna be taking all of this apart again. Um, so that's awesome. So it's important to put all of this back together before you realize you have a problem. Um, the good news is, since you're gonna be taking the front wheel back apart, you can clean the brakes and make sure that the WD-40 that you sprayed in there, bending this tab back and forth 14 times is gonna ensure that it's gonna snap off the next time you try to do it, per the usual on this bike. Um, one step forward, three back. But we're making headway. It was one step forward, eight back. Now we're up to one step forward, four back. So if we can just get it one step forward, two back, we might actually make some progress. We're gonna take the wheel bearing out of this. And according to the, the thing, it says heat inside bearing boss with the butane torch. The MX-6 front wheel, which this is, it's magnesium hub. Magnesium must be heated with great care. Great care. Uh, to avoid personal injury. The reason that is, is uh, magnesium is actually flammable if you get it hot enough. It can burn and it's really hard to put out. Um, use a torch with large soft flame butane heat boss. Four to five rapid circle passes. Always wear safety glasses. Okay. Well, I got map gas. It's probably a little hotter than regular standard gas but they're saying four or five passes so i'm doing this on the old broken hub 
Because if I mess it up, I'd rather mess this one up and mess up the one that I want to make sure that I don't mess up just to know how easy it, it, it comes out. Uh, I'm going to do it. I don't know if that was hot enough to do anything. Nope, there's only one way to find out. Okay. 6203. Aiden. Can I can can this is Terrence's bearing. Um, so there is a difference. This one's a 6303ZZ3. Now I did not buy this bearing. I got it with another vintage bike that I bought. It was a, like a bunch of extra stuff. It says rear, so this is obviously the rear for our RM400. But the ZZ03 is metal dust cover on both sides. Very fancy. Um, where the stock one has only got a dust cover, cheap plastic on one side, and it's open on the inside. Um, but yeah, that looks like the same bearing to me. Well, I guess let's try it with the real deal and see if we can ruin that. Hopefully we don't, but let's try it like we did the other one. Hope we don't break this rim, because this, this hub, because this would really suck. <laughs> Mmm, yummy. Seemed to be okay. I don't think I cracked the rim. Try and fuck it. Since it's, uh, doesn't have any place to go. Maybe I'll do that and then just put it like yay. You know, my child's asleep right there. It's five o'clock in the morning. I keep knocking that room over. That's twice I've knocked it over, which is excellent. So. she's out. Now with these bearings it doesn't matter which way you put it in because it's sealed on both sides but if you have the old school bearings that's only sealed on one side you want to make sure the sealed side is facing out. Uh, this is a better bearing because mud and stuff can't get into it nearly as easy. Just like that. This bad boy. Hear that change in difference. I hope there wasn't supposed to be a height, but um, seems to be all the way in. Where it's going. What you want to do before you go put the other wheel bearing in is you want to make sure you put the sleeve in because if you don't, that's a bad day. I don't think there's a way it should go in either way, it looks like. 
Either direction is fine. Pretty easy. I don't think I cracked the rim. Uh, everything went fine. I can clean this hub up again in case there was any WD-40 in there from my little accident putting it together last time. Hmm. These uh, spokes, they aren't very tight. I'm going to spray them all and hopefully they're not rusted solid. Probably should have did that before I put the tire on and I didn't really check them to be honest. So, you know, it's what you get. But it would have been smarter to, before I put taped it and put the tire on, to hit it with penetrating oil from the inside all the way around. Make sure these were all loosened up because they look a little crusty. But hopefully I can get them broke loose without stripping out the spoke nipples and tighten these spokes up because they're not what I would call super tight. They seem pretty consistently loose. Well, that one's tighter. But they're not super tight. So I don't know how tight you're supposed to do it with a magnesium hub, but I think it's supposed to be a little tighter than that. But you got wheel bearings in there. So that's good. And yeah job complete. Now through the miracle of editing, um, you're probably going to see me put this wheel on but in the past because I'm going to put the wheel bearings in it first and then but I've already put the wheel on and then taken it back off and then just you know a little back to the future kind of stuff. Um, but yes uh, I'll show this first and then I'll show you me putting the wheel on in the past, I guess. So hopefully all goes well and that works. And then see if I can get these spokes loosened up and tightened up. And then we're off to trying to figure out how we're gonna get the swing arm bushings for that. I'm gonna have to try to find a machinist in town and see if he can make me swing arm bushings because it doesn't seem like anyone has those sleeves that go inside the bushing. I haven't been able, I thought I had something that would work, but it turned out it was just a little bit too big, so, or too small. So I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and go see if I can find a machinist and see if he can uh, make me uh, sleeves and bushings. But that's in the future. Thanks for coming along. I just had it in my hand. Oh, you get that? I think that's being old. Uh.